Grand Rising, Wonderful Souls, and welcome to Bromham's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. If you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Get your drinks, get your snacks, you know how my reads go. Please know that my readings, I have to say this, my readings are for entertainment purposes only. That's both my personal ones and ones that you see on YouTube. Um, if I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you assign a gender. You don't have to. You can swap them around if you need to. Um, just don't make the story fit if it doesn't. If it doesn't, it means it's for someone else. My readings are for confirmation and clarity only. So if anything comes up that confuses you, scares you or just you're left in bewilderment, it's, it's not for you and that's okay. Um, anything that comes up in the areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health, know that I am not any of those. I don't claim to be a doctor, a professional, a lawyer, anything like that. Anything that does come up and it is real confirmation for you, ensure that you are reaching out to those within those sectors, um, someone who is qualified, who you can gain advice and guidance from before taking any advice from me. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to ring my lady bell. This is just to cleanse the air. If you have any type of um, sound sensitivity, turn down your listening device now. I hope everyone's doing really well. Um, I hope you've had a really chilled Sunday wherever you are in the world. And if you've had to work your Sunday, I hope that it was an easy one, it wasn't too stressful, and that you are now at home chilling and resting. Now let's see what wants to come out, shall we? Tell me what's going on today. King of Michael. So this is law. This could be military law. Um, I'm getting more like the police force. Than anything else principled rational ambitious and respected wisdom and objective wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication so this could be um someone going to contact you or someone in a collective from the police about a case about i don't know witness testimony six of ariel material needs are fulfilled in a magical and unexpected ways Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. Okay. So we have news coming in. This is this is like being given um, a gift or given some sort of there's some sort of monetary gain going on. I want I'm gonna put the bell in the middle so I can just have that one up as well. Something's going through the courts that is about to be and it's about to be handed to someone here in the collective. Any more clarity on this, please? Okay, so this has been withheld for a while. It's been in secret for a while. This case has been in secret for a while. Because you have five of Michael here. But it's in reverse. And it says, um, this situation doesn't serve you. So it's upside down. It does serve you. You have already released attachments to the outcome. And you've already taken the uplifting approach. So I don't know if somebody is waiting for a court case to finish you're waiting for some sort of result or if you unexpectedly get called into court you're being told that this is for you it's not against you and that everything's going to work out in the way that it should do in a positive way material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness giving and receiving with a grateful heart and then this upside down is just saying this is the five of wands in reverse and um, five of swords excuse me in, in reverse why did i say five of wands so there may be there may be a battle. I don't feel like this is going to be a cut and dry um, case. I feel like it may be prolonged or it may take longer than expected. But the outcome is going to be that the, the person who's called into court, who is kind, you know, who does acts of kindness, who is um, has a big heart, they're going to get a massive payout. And that came out in my last reading. Because you've got the King of Gable here and it's in reverse. And it says generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. Keep your eyes out, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. Now, with that being in reverse, this is somebody opposing whatever it is that's going through court. This is somebody who's dragging their, their, their feet. Maybe they have to pay out something and they don't want to. And that's why I feel like this court case may be um, drawn out for a while because they're going to try every single loophole. But you're being told not to. Um, not to lose faith, not to lose faith in any way, shape or form, because this is coming to someone here in the collective and it's deserved. It's really deserved, whatever this payout is. Now, this could be a, the king of, the king of Gabriel is a businessman. 
So this could be um, a job. This could be a job that you were fired from um, un, uh, and it was illegal the way that they did so, unlawfully. It could be that somebody has been plagiarising your work and made, making loads of money and they have to pay that back. Um, the star being upside down, this is something they've been doing under someone's nose. Because the star is about, um, I, was gonna, I heard credibility, but it's, it's how people see you. Almost like being online or being famous or being just being seen. And it says a dream come true and believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation, and it's upside down. So I do feel like there is a case ongoing and someone is going to make someone in the collective aware of this because it involves you in some way. And I heard clearing your name or clearing someone's name. Clearing someone's name. Four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. It's upside down by somebody who's very volatile or someone who's held a grudge. Now, um, the police, I don't know if it's the police officer that comes and tells you this or if it is just your reaction to hearing this. Maybe that this person isn't very, um, you're going to be working as a team in some way and they're holding back from that. And I don't know if that's just the way that they are. Or this is also with this, you know, uh, be aware of your own emotions being upside down. I feel like information is coming to you in a certain way because you're supposed to react in a certain way. And I don't think it's the police officer. Tell me more about six of Ariel, please. Five of Ariel in reverse. You need to go through that your current challenges alone. But remember, this is in reverse. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. With that in reverse, somebody has changed um, their thought processes. I feel like something was slowed down in the courts for a very long time. This payout, this inheritance, this whatever that may be for you. And um, that there's, there's something about delaying this in tandem with how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis almost like tying it to your emotions so the more stressed out you are the, the more it goes in whoever's favor it is at delaying this and the more that you're in you know good um good emotions and you know more high vibing the more it kind of it speeds something up because you needn't go through this you needn't go through your current challenges alone upside down it means that somebody reached out or whoever this king of michael is is reaching out um, I heard officially, they, it's official help. It's official help in some sort of case. So you won't be doing this by yourself. You will not be doing this by yourself. And help is nearby. This person may be travelling though. Because if it's upside down, then they're not here yet. But they're coming in. And it's because someone's changed their perspective on something. It's almost like um, doing a money spell because you want... At the moment, you only have five pounds or five dollars in your account and that's it. And you're doing that money spell so that you can win the lottery or you can at least make another couple of hundred until you get paid. It, that will only work if you're not in lack of mindset. If you're looking at that five pounds or that five dollars in your account and going, oh my God, that's all I've got. And I've got two weeks until I get paid. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my gosh. All you're going to do with that money spell is manifest in more lack. Someone here has changed their perception of, I heard life, but abundance. And I heard you're ready or someone's ready now because whatever this payout or whatever this gift is, you are mature enough to handle that amount of it. Because it's, it's like saying, you know, having this, this money spell and doing it out of luck or doing a money spell and just going, do you know what? I, I wish for more abundance and it will be awesome that, you know, and using the, the present tense. So th thank you so much for all this money that came in. Thank you so much for all these opportunities to grow and blah, 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 blah. And then letting it go and just going, pew. And there's no lack there and then it comes in and someone's done this someone's it's not so much about the money spell as it is about perception it's perception and this material your material needs are going to get fulfilled now in magical and unexpected ways this eight of michael here you can be free make a courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly and it's upside down so someone was able to get out of a bind uh -uh, it's because you didn't take an offer there was a test of some sort and you didn't you didn't take the offer you passed the test and i did a reading not that long ago saying you passed they failed because the eight of michael is the eight of swords and that's about trapping someone i'm really thirsty it's about trapping someone um 
and that being upside down you saw things clearly or someone here saw things clearly make a courageous choice to change your situation you already have and now with that being upside down they have to pay something back they have to pay something back oh my gosh and the five of michael can i get some clarity on the five of michael please mm -mm, that was too many I only really want one. Can I get clarity on the five of Michael, please? The magician. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings, and it's upside down, and that's Archangel Raziel. So someone may have been in lack mindset for quite a while, or there's been this energy of trying to keep someone in lack mindset because doing so, like I said continues to delay something so that they can they can take some sort of finance now what is the case please i got to go over here what is the case how are those ones ah okay let's have to look at this one what is this woman holding the coin is it against some, it's against someone's business it's a it may be a spiritual business of some sort because the woman holding the coin is um a dark witch somebody who will take money to do spell work but I don't know if this person has an actual business because that's what it was looking like over there. Money is owed. Money is owed to someone. And that number at the top condensing down to a six for me is about charity. It's about equilibrium when it comes to finances, charity, helping others like the six of coins. So I don't know if this is donations. Why donations? Fear-based fear monger, a fear monger of some sort. I will show you whom to trust. You need some space in a relationship, and you can achieve great things. I feel like this case has something to do with like um, it's like a mentor of someone. If this is like a, is it a spiritual coach? Because that came out in my last reading, a business where um, they're taking people in who. They're taking money from people who are vulnerable in that, you know, sometimes you, you will come to a crossroads and you're at a crossroads. And this is like, for example, think of the first spiritual awakening you ever had. And before you had that, there would have been a crisis of some sort that would have sparked that. And we come to a crossroads of not really knowing which way to go, but knowing that we don't want to go back that way. And at that point in people's lives, this person sweeps in. They have some sort of business. They do something, but they're doing it off the back of somebody else's creativity or of someone else's energy. How is this linked in? You need some space in this relationship. So this could have been someone that you knew, or they could be attached to someone that you know. Akashic, your Akashic libraries are open, a new world is born. So they were reading someone's, they've been reading someone's Akashic records or trying to, or that may be what they do as a job. They say that they read the, you know, the Akashic libraries. Creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. There it's so there's an investigation or a case against someone who is a fake spiritual advisor or somebody who is scamming people for money at times when they're in crisis or when they actually need proper guidance. What's this got to do with a big payout though? I heard something about a logo or your name. So for example, if you read the Akashic Records, so that's what you do for your job, somebody is um, I don't know if they're copying your website or copy, they're copying something off a business. It's a business that's gone bust or it's a business that was fraudulent. So you've got creative, creativity, genius, writing, expression and artistic flow once upon a midnight dreary. And it reminds me of this. Is that the poem by Edgar Allan Poe? Something about the ravens. This person steals other people's energy and I want to figure out how. Because this isn't just kind of like, oh, you have a curse on you, give me this amount of money and I will take that off and I'll have to use special herbs and blah, blah, blah. No, I think that's how they started out. That's how they started out. This is giving me someone that is close to you or someone that is close to you by proxy. So with this, you know, you need some space in the relationship. This could have been, um, this could have been somebody you were romantically connected to. 
So this could be your ex, or this could be somebody who was involved with your ex. You can achieve great things, and I will show you who to trust. This is someone who um, your ex may have gone to them for advice. Oh my gosh, they went to them for advice, and they read your energy without permission. And they knew what was coming and they stole something. I will show you who to trust. Yeah, they were like, I'll give you advice. I'll tell you how to have this win-win. Fake mentor, they're a fake mentor. You can achieve great things. Let me put that one here. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, top or bottom? Bottom, okay. Tell me more about this. Tell me about this person and this payout. And look, I open it on Scorpio. They're the eighth sign of the zodiac. So this, this is just somebody who is a paid, they're a paid uh, occultist or they're, they're a paid witch. And we had that already. Leo's coming out. They may share a child with your ex. They may share a child with your ex. Tell me more. What do we need to know? Jupiter. It's known as the planet of luck and abundance. Where it is placed in your birth chart will uncover how you experience fortune, wealth and success. So you have either a Leo here or somebody who shares a child with your ex who was looking into your money. They may have been looking into the money with your, of your ex as well and how that person was very either flamboyant with money or very lucky when they were around you or around someone. Your ex could be a Libra. This Libra could have had a lot of money or was given a lot of money by you or someone in the collective when they were with you or they would keep winning i don't know they would win certain on uh, why can i speak on certain lotto tickets or scratch cards or things like that this person may gamble scorpio is coming out again scorpios can be passionate intense and secretive they can also be extremely private and guarded with their emotions this person may be someone that they were talking to while still dating someone in the collective and I heard it's not cheating though, they're just getting advice. I don't feel like this person, whoever um, this witch holding the coin is, I don't feel like they are at the start were like, oh, let me read your palm. Because they read people very easily. And you've got, they, they read people very easily. So they read whether or not someone is very spiritual, very religious, or just an atheist doesn't believe any of that stuff. So they know how to kind of work their target because this person was a mark to them at first. And you've got Uranus here. Where Uranus is in your birth chart helps you understand sudden changes or shifts in your personal life as well as in the world. Now this has got to do with someone's sun and moon sign because your sun describes your zodiac personality and your moon sign represents your emotional or inner self. So there was a surprise what were they surprised about? Is this the ex or is this the woman holding the coin? They were surprised about your sun and moon sign and the energy that they felt. Because, yeah, you look, you've got astrology it involves the forecasting of events through the interpretation of the fixed star sun, moon and the planets. And they were very surprised at um, your strength. You've got, look, you've got it coming out again. Oh, that's cancer. That's cancer. They did more than just kind of like read this person because they know who to like, I feel like this person has like an Etsy shop or something where they do like um, same day tarot readings or something along those lines and that it's quite cheap to get a reading from them. But they also do um, spell work and they do other things as well. And I don't know how someone's ex here ended up meeting them. It may have been through a family member. It may have been through your family member. It could have been through an ex, your ex's family member. You've got Scorpio coming out again. A lot of Scorpio in here. And what they were surprised by, this, this witch holding the coin, this woman holding the coin, was very, very surprised by um, your psychic connection or how powerful you are. And maybe at the time you didn't realise how powerful you were. So they used that. They, they underestimated someone though, because the placement of Neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream. So this person had actually done, they started reading your birth chart and they copied something. They wanted to know how to get you to trust them or they wanted to know how to get, they may have been, I feel like they were reading your ex or someone's ex here a lot to figure out how to manipulate them 
and how to get them, they could be a Virgo, how to get them um, on board with something. Virgos are usually conscientious, analytical and clever. They strive for perfection and can often be hard on themselves. And then you've got Cancer. Those born under Cancer are highly sensitive, intuitive and emotional. They are also prone to moodiness and protecting their feelings under a, a hard exterior. So this person was hiding how they felt. They wear a, a, a poker face all the time. And I heard Aunt something. Not Aunt Jemima, Aunt. They have a brand like that. Libra's coming out as well. They have connections to um, the courthouse, or they have like someone who works on the inside. I feel it's almost like if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. They have somebody in the courthouse without a doubt. And that's how they were slowing something down, Gemini, yeah. So they were talking to whoever it was in the courthouse and asking them, has it been slowed down? What else do I need to do? And somebody was monitoring someone in the collective because it's all to do with your emotions. Fear. fear comes into this as well how much you fear or how much you don't gemini star signs are versatile chatty and creative creative and perceptive they are known as the skilled communicators of the zodiac so you have this woman holding a coin who was speaking to somebody i heard law enforcement as well and my candle just flicked when i said that in law enforcement they have someone in law enforcement Somebody who, when your astrological information is added to your birth chart, you'll see a series of interconnecting lines, numbers and symbols representing the star signs. I feel like this person, um, that's, how they that's how they get connected to other people, is by talking about what they do for their job. Like, I can do tarot readings, I can read your energy, I can do this, this and that. They keep the fact that they do negative spell work or harmful spell work or things where I had mind invasion, they keep that to themselves until they can see who they can trust and who they can work with as an ally. But there is a police officer. I don't know if it's this King of Michael here that's coming forward to tell you something or if it's someone else. I heard someone else. They wanted to know how to, I think they're trying to figure out also why even when someone has nothing, whether that is you're living out of your car or you've been alone, you know, you haven't been in a relationship for 15 years, whatever that may be, whenever, um, things are taken from someone here it doesn't elicit the response that they expect it to because with other targets other other yeah with other targets they were able to rock someone's emotional boat proverbial proverbial boat a lot quicker and this made them very angry so they did something um they did something that they don't usually do they did something that they that would blow their cover because here it says the position of Mars in your chart can show how you express your anger and what gets you all fired up. Because someone told them something, they got really angry at what they learn about someone here. And I feel like they were, um, they were definitely playing whoever's ex this is against um, you or someone in the collective. Because you've got Gemini, curious, sociable and restless. Who are they talking to? Who are they talking to? They, I feel like this person talks to a lot. They, they have a lot of fingers and lots of pies. But it's all evidence. And all the people that they've been talking to, they don't know who's talking to now the police. Because someone has ratted. Right, who are they talking to except for the police? Who are they talking to? Courts. Who's in the courts? Crab. They've got a family member in the crab, in the crab. <laughs> They've got a family member in the courts. Cancer is the fourth sign of the zodiac and is represented by the crab. Now I had said before that it was either your family member or your ex's family member that introduced them to this woman holding the coin. And that family member also either, they work in the courts. This, this is the person that is like the middleman. That's the person that's working on the inside. Yeah, because you've got Gemini and then Cancer. This is the person that talks to um, talks to them and gives them updates. Tells them, no, you need to do a little bit more of ABC because, you know, otherwise that's, this information is going to come up. Or otherwise they're going to find out something. If you have a tarot um, channel, an oracle channel, any kind of channel where you talk about um, the occult, about spiritual things, you have one or all of them watching. You have, I don't know so much about the ex. 
for some yeah that person's watching but you have the woman holding the coin and you have um the police officer the dodgy police officer is definitely watching i don't know if this king of michael over here this one that is especially with the king of michael being upright this is not the dodgy one this is not con this person's not connected to any of them except for the case and putting the case together because it says wisdom and ob objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication <coughs> excuse me I feel like this is the person that has been investigating all of them or building this case around them and just been observing. If you do have a channel, they may be watching your channel and picking up on things that are confirmation for them. If you don't have a channel, then that's, it, that's um, irrelevant for you. But this is to do with money, your income, this business, this copied business. They've made a whole franchise out of something. They've made a whole franchise out of something. And I'm telling you, this person is angry. I don't know if someone's ex is really angry at how much you know, or how much you've uncovered, or how you are 10 step, steps ahead of something. I don't know whose car got keyed. I'm seeing like, um, is it like a Volkswagen? Or some, someone's car got vandalised. And I don't know if this is present, past, whatever. I'm going to check. Let me see. Can I have um, energy on past? What's the past energy? What's past energy, please? Let's have a look. I don't want to go together with the past energy. It's, it's very gunky or blocked. Something's sticking to them. And they can't get rid of it and it's making them really angry. Okay. Past energy, please. Past energy on this situation. Past energy on this situation is the devil, the chariot, two of pentacles, and the two of swords in reverse. This is a deal that went south. This is this is an idea that they're now wishing that they hadn't done. Because this is coming with the woman holding the coin. But the devil card here always reminds me of the lovers because it's two people in an, in an embrace. But there's thorns around them. I don't really want to show it because they're all quite naked. Um, the thorns around them are cutting them. So this is like being stuck in some sort of um, toxic relationship. Whoever this ex is, when they went to the next person, and I feel like this woman holding the coin was the next person that became their lover. Um, the woman holding the coin fed from their toxicity and encourage that kind of energy. And that's why you have an ex that was very angry. I don't know what this woman holding the coin was saying. It's something to do with gambling, the chariot. They're trying to pass the buck to someone else. Two of pentacles. And then the two, this is something they've done with intent. Kind of, let me show you the top part of that for the devil. But that's your, that's your career. This is to do with your career. This woman holding the coin is very, very jealous of someone's career, of someone's um, psychic ability, but also their groundedness and because of what's coming towards you. The chariot, this again is giving me like this person being like a fake psychologist because the, I don't know why I'm whispering, the, um, the, the chariot is about movement, but it's also about healing because you have both a dark horse and a light horse which represents both the yin and yang within us, the light and the dark, the male and the female, and being able to balance those two, bringing them into wholeness, into oneness. And that reminds me of therapy. And then you have, so this person's like, I don't know if they're a fake therapist. There's something about their business that, where they got their money from, they've siphoned money or they've taken money or they've taken someone's an opportunity for a brand deal they've taken something that wasn't theirs and they've pretended to be you they've been pretending to be someone else for a long time and they felt untouchable because doing so it meant that they could go well i can kick a puppy if i want because if anyone you know tries to tries to um have a look at that they'll say it was so and so from the collective and not me and you've got the princess of swords here yeah the page of swords this is someone watching watching to see watching someone's relationship they were watching your relationship way before. So when you, when someone was with their ex, 
they were watching and it was almost like a game for this person because they were watching this relationship and going, I'm going to steal your man. I'm going to steal your woman. I'm going to steal your he, she, they. Yeah, you've got high priestess in reverse. This high priestess has been watching someone's relationship. They were watching it and blocking it. So this was past to energy, okay? Them watching, stalking, whatever, obsessed energy and playing games. Um, now I want to figure out What's the present energy? Is this the present energy or is this future energy? So can I have future, um, can I have present energy on this situation, please? Present energy. Present energy has the six of coins in reverse. Something's been taken from who? We've got here seven of pentacles. This is coming back to present energy of them watching to see whether or not they've taken away someone's faith, hope, determination. If someone here is watching hard at someone, at, at either yours or someone in the collective's emotions, and then it's being relayed back, there's communication between someone in the courts and someone in the police. Because the Seven of Pentacles is about taking time to just kind of relax and look at how far you've come. And you see this woman here, she's pregnant because, you know, that seed at the start was the seed of, of you know, life rather than being a pentacle. And she's picking, and the thing is though, it's kind of like a double entendre here because she's also picking an apple, which means that when she first started with the first seed, the first um, seed, it was actually an apple seed. She can stop and, and you know, smell the roses, look at the sunshine. And someone doesn't want you to do this. This woman holding the coin is um, still focused on taking away someone's... This is also charity and money. And this is what they're investigating. They're not just investigating this... I think they started off by investigating this person because of the scams that they were doing. Because I feel like they're connected to... Um, something broader or something bigger it's like a network of other people that do things like this and then they've stumbled upon this going on as well and they've gone okay well this is where we've got solid evidence where we can actually put this person away and we might even be able to get this person to to squeal on other people that they've been working with see see oh my gosh can i get some more present energy please oh okay yeah five of pentacles Five of Pentacles, someone here is wishing that they had not juggled something. That's this woman holding the coin. This person has got a really good poker face. Really good poker face. Yeah, but they've got nothing. They've got nothing left. They know that if this goes to court, if anything goes to court, they will lose everything. They'll lose everything. They've been aiming so hard to take this... I had to take that smug look off of your face or take, to take that smug look off someone's face because it's like going back to that, you know, analogy, 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 analogy the example I used when I said about the money spell, you know, in on one hand, it's doing the money spell because you feel like you're in lack and then all you're doing is manifesting in more lack. And on the other hand, going, well, let's do a money spell because you know what? I'm so thankful for all the money that I've already got. Thank you so much. Share, 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 share. And it comes in. This person has been focusing so hard on wiping away some sort of smug look that they see. They don't realise it's not to do with that. It's that your perceptions change. That they're bringing this back on themselves. Because you've got temperance coming out here. Temperance is coming out here. And now what's on the floor? What's on the floor? One sec. Is um, the moon. Yes. The moon's come out. This is what I mean. This person is hiding... The fact that they may not be able to for very long. They may not be able to, to hold this for very long. Um, how they feel when they see someone here thriving. Because this is very much to do with jealousy. They made this personal when it was supposed to be like a target. Get that target, get the money and move on. It's almost, it's like a dog with a bone. A dog wants to crack that bone into pieces. It wants to chew it all up, get to the marrow in the middle, right? So that dog's not going to stop until it does it, even if it's jaws hurting. And that's what this person is like. So you've got the eight of wands here to the ace of wands. Right now, they're trying to put a block, or is the block on them? 
there's a delay. They're trying to delay this. Um, I had a court settlement. There's a massive settlement, a massive settlement. They're trying to delay this. How are they trying to delay this? Especially if they know that if your emotions are what they need to keep slowing this down, how are they doing this if right now they can't do If they can't. Clarity. You've got the hanged man in reverse. They can't. They literally cannot. Why is the devil card and the hanged man? Clarity. Devil card and the hanged man. The emperor and the nine of cups upside down. They've really angered someone. I feel like um, they were trying to mess with a future. This isn't just money. This person's taken this all really, really personally. Really personally. To the That's what I mean by this person's now doing things that um, they wouldn't usually do. And it's putting a limelight on them. When they realised that they weren't able to um, gain some sort of reaction from someone in the collective... This is when they start to take it, started to take this personally. Because someone here, you could be the emperor, you know, irrespective of gender. But I don't feel, I feel like they've pissed someone off, excuse my language, because the nine of cups in, in reverse is dissatisfaction. Right now there is dissatisfaction. Who is dissatisfied? Who is dissatisfied? King of Cups here is dissatisfied in reverse. So whoever it is that they're working with, I don't know if that is the police officer. I heard booty call. That's a booty call there. So this, this woman holding the coin, it very much has all of the fingers in different pies because they use and be abuse. They use and throw away. And that ex, someone's ex here, was nothing more than kind of a, a, a means to an end. But this King of Cups in reverse, who is this King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? Because this King of Cups has got nothing now. Because they try juggling. They try juggling um, this woman holding the coin and maybe you as well. Wheel of Fortune, they're upset. Because the Wheel of Fortune's on. Yep, and you've got the Ace of Swords coming out. This is truth. Stability is coming into someone. Oh, they can't. They can't slow this down anymore. So even when this court case opens or, you, or someone is connect, it connected, if someone is, um, is uh, what's the word, contacted by the police or by the FBI or by the courts or by whoever, they can't slow this down anymore. There's something they have to give back. And it's a lot. And it's, and it's not jail time, it's prison time. It's prison time. The truth is coming out about the it's, they've been doing like energy harvesting and they're going to try and continue to do energy harvesting as this case goes along and this is why it may slow down because it's really dependent on how someone keeps an even kill when it comes to their tranquility when it comes to um balancing their yin and their yang deep breathing because they're going to keep trying to poke someone's at someone's emotions there may be houses or homes that they have to give up as well to the fourth house coming out here to the five of wands upside down to the ten of chalices a happy family this person left their family or well, they wanted you to leave your family they wanted someone here this isn't just i want to take your money this became so personal they were like i want to wipe you out i want you to give up i literally want you to give up everything wow that's wild. That's absolutely wild. Now, let's have a look. Tell me about this woman holding the coin and what it is that the the case, what do the police have on them? What do the police have on the woman holding the coin? Occupation. Something. Ooh. And main female in reverse. This is a job. Bad health. It's a job that they do something they... Mm. I don't know if they've already interviewed this person. I don't... 
I don't know if they're, they're ta wiretapping phones or they've put a bug in someone's home because the reason why this King of Michael is looking at this um, woman holding the coin, they know that their job is being a false person or pretending to be someone and then waiting for someone to be in bad health. They expect someone to get in bad health. So all of the people that they've been getting with, when I say target, they're not just rinsing them for the money. They're going for people that are either connected to those who are about to get a lot of money or they're going for people who are very wealthy and then they're trying to get them unalived but making it look like it was um, this person just became very unwell. But they're using both spell work and they're doing something on this realm. And this King of Michael, this detective, PI, police officer, whoever, has been slowly collecting more and more evidence, more and more evidence on this person over here. And you have got a King of Cups. I don't know if the King of Cups is the ex. I have no. This may be someone else that they work with. There's information on the King of Cups as well, and this person's effects. They're angry that the spotlight has been put on them. They're angry. Because they do things in the shadows. That's why you've got the moon coming out as well. They do things under the light of the moon. They move in darkness. And they've just had a massive spotlight. Not only put on this person, but now this King of Cups knows that if the police or the authorities or whoever are looking at her, they're going to be looking at him very, very soon. This is more than just a, you know, a love scam. This is more than a love scam. Expectation. There's something that I feel that this person has said that they either picked up. I don't know if this police officer has had a conversation or they, they've been interviewed. I heard yes for something different. But this King of Michael, this police officer is very sharp. And it's come up in my readings before that they are like Columbo. You know, making out like they have no idea what's going on. They're not going to be able to piece things together. They're a bit of a bumbling buffoon. But really, they're piecing every little bit together right at the end. And one more thing. And that's when they get everything together and they've hook, line and sinkered this person. So they are, they're taking in everything that's said. And something was said by that, that um, woman holding the coin that piqued the interest of this detective or whoever. Now they're focused on them. They are quietly focused on them. They're looking also at people that they have either slept with, met in bars, um, had relationships with. What was the relationship like? Where did they work? And just trying to figure out or create like this spider web coming from this person here. And all the other people that they've been connected to. Oh my gosh, nearly every single person they've been connected to has had loads of money or has had money stolen or has had this happen to them or blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this person is effed. This person is effed. Okay. Now, so there's also a conversation between someone either in the police or in, in the authorities or in the courthouse to watch out on this. I feel like this is a new communication. It may be about income. This person's income doesn't match the shop front that they're using because if they're like a spiritual advisor or they're a witch or they're whoever and they will do candle they might sell like i said they've got an etsy shop but they're not making enough on etsy or on whatever this shop front is to be raking in the amount that they are tell me courtship is upside down and message and privileged lady this came up in my last reading. There's something going on with the postal service where um, the way that they communicate with each other is through through the postal service. And they get told when to, to stop the target or when to like jump ship, when they should be ramping up to the next phase, when they should be starting to put someone in bad health or when they should be planning to do that. And it's all going through, that's how they communicate with each other. I feel like at some point they did do Zoom calls or FaceTimes or they may even text each other. And I feel like there are texts there as well. But when it comes to um, certain things like this, they do it through messages. And I feel like some of these messages have been in intercepted. Some of them have been intercepted without a doubt. Marriage and child. 
said, this woman holding a coin is married and has a child with the king of cups in reverse. And this ex of yours or someone in the collective, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm whispering like, oh my gosh. They're just marks. These people are marks. But the ex is looking at this person like that's their new relationship. And they're just getting rinsed out of their money. They're getting rinsed out of information about other people. Because this ex going to them and being like, I want you to read my, my ex and what they're up to, blah, blah, blah. And then realising that this is a massive pot of gold for them. My goodness. Family room. This marriage, family room and child. What's happening in a family house? There's evidence hidden in one of the rooms in a home. I heard houses. They have more than one house. They have more than one location that they go to. This is what I mean by networking. There's other people they work with on this. Tell me about the child. What do I need to know about this child? One second, let's see. Creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. What is it about this creative child and justice? Tell me about this child. Ace of Cups to justice. They've been having issues. I feel like the reason why this King of Cups isn't really in the picture, and I mean in, in all ways, not on here and not in the picture, this King of Cups has walked away. They were business partners in something. And I heard he skipped town. He may have skipped town. What about the children? What about the child's bed? Why are we being told that showing a child? Why a child? The toy that the, this child holds is important. It has something in it. It has something in it. You've got King of Pentacles here. And you've got Justice. So this is um, a, legal, a legal business. A legal business and then so they were doing a legal business at the start but they were very unhappy something's gone on with their child I don't know if the child is both of theirs because this king of cups is vexed with her he's vexed with her I had one one thing too much this is one thing too much but the king of pentacles to justice this is just saying that there is some sort of business or there is the amount of money or something when it comes to a business that's coming in someone wanted your business to be invalid they wanted your business to be invalid or to be illegal or for you to do something that wasn't legal you have this king of cups now coming in yeah this king of cups here to the eight of pentacles in reverse something didn't work this person may have tried to um they may have tried to offer something. That's what was happening at the start. The reason why this is bliss blessings coming in, because that tempting offer that has a high price, someone either ignored it, their guides just sidestepped it and was like, nope, that's not coming towards, you know, so-and-so in the collective. It could have been an email that was sent out and you just blocked it. Whatever it was, it was the best sidestep ever because someone dodged a bullet here. And because they were trying to frame something they were trying to frame something onto the collective. And this has come up quite a, a few times. There's fraud going on, something with someone's signature or likeness. And because the person that they were doing the fraud against in the first place did not invest in it, it they can, this police officer can see they've made all this crap up and they're fully aware. There's no way that they can get out of this unless they side, they can only sidestep it if you go and take their place. If you take their place. And there was, there was a need or want to invalidate your business. I don't know if you are an entrepreneur, um, if you've just opened up your own cake shop, whatever that may be. But when it comes to justice and the king of pentacles, someone did something the right way. Or someone did something through the justice system. I don't know what that is when it comes to your money, when it comes to your business. You did it though. And because you did this, this married couple, they're... They're not together anymore. They're vex. Someone here is vex. Five of Pentacles coming up. This King of Cups. This King of Cups has lost a lot. They bet something. They may have bet that they could um they could scam you. So if this Queen of Wands is the one that goes and scams, you know, men, 
then this king of cups could be the one that goes and scams women or men you know irrespective of you know sexual orientation but it didn't work it, it didn't work what did this king of cups think they were going to do what was the king of cups going to do what's the king of cups going to do empress and six of wands this person i feel like with this being present this person may have tried to do a love scam recently and it didn't work someone just got ignored they thought that they were going to get in with this empress or they thought they were going to get in this empress energy and they were going to have some sort of victory or marriage ace of wands it was blocked it was blocked it the lights were blocked communication was blocked they couldn't learn something from a high priestess high priest to high priestess so they actually were targeting somebody who had um it's not competition but better skills than this woman holding the coin over here they really were and they were getting angry about this this person got angry this become all in consuming all consuming for this woman holding the coin but when this person started slipping up and making mistakes i think that's when this masculine this um king of cups walked away because they were just like no i can't be in this anymore we're supposed to work in the darkness and you're there shining a torch because you're angry that the other person is prettier than you or because they have better muscles than you or because of what because they're stronger than you when it comes to like psychic spiritual war, for, warfare or whatever yeah this person could not take notes this person can't they can't reach out you might have blocked them you may have blocked them anything else Okay, any obstacles that we need to see? You know what, let me put that down. Let me see over here. Any obstacles that we need to look out for in present, in present. Last laugh and um, holding on. The obstacle here is to ensure that we stay, and as I've been saying this before, that we stay in a very centered place when this plays out. Because at some point, there is going to be someone that comes forward from the courts who is official, who's like, all right, this is what's going on. These are the people that are doing it. And this is what I need from you for us to get this case going. OK, and you're being told to not get in your ego and go, ha, right, I'm going to really F these people up. Blah, blah, blah. No, stay humble, please. Stay humble. That's what you're being asked to do. Stay very humble because look, we've got magical moments coming out. If you have to tap into the energy of um, anything that makes you happy, things that when you think back to when you were young or from a year ago or that summer holiday that you had or vacation that was really relaxing, whatever that may be, drinks of pain because, because, while I said this before and I think this is what I'm going to end on, that case, when this case comes up, they're still going to be trying to poke at someone's emotions and reactions. They need that. They need that to delay things or to mess things up or to, there's something about trying to do like a court spell, like get people to look at you in a certain way rather than seeing the truth. So stay in your inte in your integrity. It says it there as well, um, you know, um, stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Yeah, look, sexual healing upside down. Who do you love upside down this person? This, you have an ex here who's drinking their pain. Or it could be this King of Cups, I don't know. They are drinking the pain. Okay. Anything for the future that we need to know? Let me see. Anything else? I don't think I need to get anything from here, really. Do you know what? For the future, I opened it and it says paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So there may be someone coming in, heart with a key, welcoming in love. Maybe someone new, I don't know, but I'm going to leave it there. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity what you already intuitively know ascending as well if you are new to my channel and this resonated for you i would love for you to hit on the like the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when i post if you are a returning subscriber soul family hearts kisses stay awesome anyone that would like to um partake in the gofundme that i am doing at the moment for awesome awesome um animal shelter in sri lanka please have a look underneath all of the guided meditation links and there is Loku's dog and cats care gofundme there is their facebook page and there is their um their actual website it's a really beautiful cause we have 
I say we, but this community has gone above and beyond when it comes to compassion, humility, and just an empathy with um, sharing donations, sharing the GoFundMe. We've raised so far £10,000, which goes a really long way in Sri Lanka. Um, it's saving lives. It's really helping the community also because it, it teaches them about animal care, animal safety. Um, thank you so much. If you'd like to be part of that, just have a look down below. If you can't afford to, um, I'd love it if you could just share it with people that you know um, love fur babies and would love to be part of this. Um, know that I'm not doing any readings at the moment. I'm not taking any readings and I'm not really reading my emails. Um, so if anyone is reaching out for sponsorships, I don't want to do any at the moment. Um, until I have my own space, I'm happy just dawdling along um, doing content for you guys. Um, and I'm sure in the near future I will open up my readings again. But for now, please do not get scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. If they say, what's up, me? It's not me. If they say anything about beloved, I'm drawn to you, it's not me. If you see anyone saying that they have, you know, praise Jesus, they've just been able to afford their own house because they now earn an X amount of stupid amount of money, um, blah, 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 because of this doctor. It's just a scam. Just block and report them. With that being said, I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.